Hello, my name's Chris Ard, and I'm Director of Marketing for Touch Products. Originally, we were Quantum Research Group, but more recently, we're part of Atmel Corporation. But in total, we have over 13 years of experience in the area of capacitive touch sensing. This represents thousands of designs and many tens of millions of chips in the field. Touchscreens are rapidly becoming accepted as a user interface of choice. They enrich the user experience, and of course they provide more place for a bigger, brighter display. Resistive touch is the most common type of touchscreen. This is found quite commonly in games consoles, portable navigation devices, cell phones, and many other products. Resistive touchscreens have a number of disadvantages, including the fact that they're quite easily damaged since they sit on the front surface of the device. And also, they have some optical disadvantages, since they absorb and scatter some of the light. There's been quite a fast evolution of touch products since the mid-1990s. It started out in the area of buttons, moved to sliders and wheels, onto low-resolution touch surfaces, and more recently, it's pointed the way to capacitive touch screens. These work from behind the front cover. In this case, you can see we have a sensor stuck to the back of the front cover, and a single driver chip with a TWI interface to connect to the host. More recently, over the past year or so, the evolution of touchscreens has gained some momentum. The next generation of touchscreen driver chips is well developed. They cover the, cover the territory between single touch and genuine multi-touch. They uniquely report the position of two fingers on the touch surface, and also they can recognize and report a range of gestures which can be used as shortcuts in the user interface. Let me show you how it works. On the screen, you can see a representation of the surface where the data is streamed from the chip. As I bring my finger in towards the touch surface, you can see the finger is detected and as I move around the screen, it tracks. Of course, in this case, we can also track one, two, three, four, or more touches. And not only that, we can also do things like look at shapes on the surface or begin to develop simple gestures. For example, a swipe gesture. In this visualization software, it's easier to see how a finger can be tracked on the touch screen. So you can see it follows my finger around as I move across the screen. Also, if I put two fingers on the screen, you can see they can track each other and are genuinely independent touches. Also, if you look closely at the screen, you'll see as I touch and then press that it gives the size or depth of touch to the screen too. This is also the case that it works with two fingers. And of course, a different size digit will give a different result. In this next visualization screen, we can demonstrate some gestures which are embedded in the chip. In this case, you can see the flick and the tap gesture in action. As I move my finger down the screen, you can see and in the other direction. These are interpreted and reported by the chip. Also, the chip can read and drive a range of auxiliary devices. A particular interest in touchscreens are devices like force sensors and haptic actuators. But also in a user interface, it's often useful to be able to drive LEDs, and the Atmel chip can do this. In the future, the device will recognize and track an increased number of touches, limited really only by the number of fingers and the size of the screen. We also will embed the ability to recognize shapes. In any good design, it's important that the interface is robust. Atmel have developed many advanced algorithms over the years in very difficult environments, for example, automotive and white goods, where it's crucial that mission critical applications aren't compromised. All of our techniques are based on the charge transfer process to collect the capacitive information from the surface. This offers a great signal to noise ratio, making the baseline design easy and helping the whole process. In addition to the more advanced user interfaces, Atmel also offers single-touch touchscreens. 
These are lower cost and use an inexpensive silicon chip. The Atmel proprietary single layer sensor design is also key in producing a lower cost product overall. This product can also have better optical properties because of the single layer nature of the design. These are useful for simpler interfaces such as buttons and sliders or wheels, right through to medium complexity user interfaces. All of our touchscreen technology is based on the industry leading AVR. The performance of the AVR underpins all of our technology in touchscreens. We utilize the PicoPower features and combined with our advanced controls and sleep mechanisms, we can big, provide big advantages for battery operated devices. The devices are easy to use. They just wake up and work. There's no user calibration needed. And the interface is event driven. This means that it only reports activity to the system host when there's a touch on the surface, providing a low overhead. In summary, Atmel provides a range of touchscreen controllers, useful for many applications and available at various price points. From the simplest single touch device through to genuine multi-touch devices, they can work for a range of interfaces. We also provide visualization software and debugging tools. These help with your project. We can offer reference designs for the sensors, and of course, we'll help with implementation in your project. Thanks for listening.